Story number 48, The Wise Gibeonites. Many of the cities in Canaan now get ready to fight against Israel. They think that they can win. But the people in the nearby city of Gibeon do not think so. They believe that God is helping the Israelites, and they do not want to fight against God. So do you know what the Gibeonites do? They decide to make it look as if they lived somewhere very far away. So some of the men put on ragged clothes and worn-out sandals. They load their donkeys with worn-out sacks and take some old dry bread. Then they go to Joshua and say, We have come from a very distant land because we heard about your great God Jehovah. We heard all the things that he did for you in Egypt. So our leaders told us to get some food ready for a trip and to go and say to you, We are your servants. Promise that you will not make war with us. You can see that our clothes are worn out from the long trip and that our bread has become old and dry. Joshua and the other leaders believe the Gibeonites. So they make a promise not to fight against them. But three days later, they learned that the Gibeonites really lived nearby. Why did you tell us that you came from a distant land? Joshua asks them. The Gibeonites answer, We did so because we were told that your God Jehovah had promised to give all this land of Canaan to you, so we were afraid that you would kill us. But the Israelites keep their promise, and they do not kill the Gibeonites. Instead, they make them their servants. The king of Jerusalem is angry because the Gibeonites have made peace with Israel. So he says to four other kings, Come and help me to fight Gibeon. And that is what these five kings do. Were the Gibeonites wise to make peace with Israel, which now causes these kings to come to fight against them? We will see.